I was a coomer. I started early too. I remember seeping through like clothing magazines for the underwear part. Or worst of all, somehow you get access to YouTube and discover music videos. Anaconda really messed me up. But at that age, you know, you don't know exactly what you're doing. You don't know what fapping is. You don't know what no fap is. You don't know what self-improvement is. You're a fucking child. But then I got a smartphone. I got a laptop, basically completely unrestricted access to everything the internet holds. And it resulted in two things, two addictions, video games and adult entertainment. I guess the third thing is making content and YouTube videos and stuff. So I'm extremely grateful for it. And I guess I wouldn't really trade anything for it. But from that point on, I was playing shooters and peeping cooters. And I feel like it just progressively got worse, especially when I had free time, like during summers where I'm just playing video games all day, telling the boys, hey, yo, I'm gonna go eat, mute the party open like 15 browsers in Chrome uh, incognito. 45 minute hour long session, hop back on and play some more games. And at the time I had no reasons to see anything wrong with what I was doing. Of course, like parents are like, oh, don't look at bad stuff. It's bad, but like, you, do, you don't compute that that's actually bad for you mentally. Definitely affected me dopamine wise and gave me just a lifelong task of trying to break free of that. Because the gaming addiction was bad, but once I got into the gym, I was able to just fully lose interest in it. However, you know what stayed with me the whole time. It was like, huh, that guy was lame, but me and you, me and you are going to be together forever. And of course, now I fully understand the negatives. I'm, I'm fully against it. I'm fully team no fap, no porn, whatever. But somewhere between this and somewhat getting into self-improvement, meaning the gym, basically, I saw the Matt Diavella video. I meditated one hour every day for 30 days. And while I don't remember any of the points made in the video, I was convinced to try it. So I downloaded the meditation app he used and gave it a shot. And when I tell you, I instantly noticed a difference. Going from a kid who always had YouTube playing or video games or jerking off or school or whatever, just constant stimulation simulation to 10 to 20 fully uninterrupted minutes of pure mindfulness and just no stimulation. I instantly noticed the benefits of coming out of it more focused. I would mainly use it as like, of course, a pre-workout at the time to give me more focus in the gym. And I would do it most days. And I would also notice it just helps my ability to talk to people. I'm just more present, more mindful. And that was 2019. Fast forward, I would meditate here and there on and off. And then I moved to Houston and then the lockdown happened in 2020. And I went full back to video game, sleep in, fap, loser, which was actually one of the darkest points of my life. And I had a full on identity crisis. But y'all don't want a video about that, right? Anyways, somewhere towards the end of that period, I actually did do a dopamine detox. So imagine going every day, just stimulation, gaming with the boys, you know what, not really working that much. So it was really just stimulation all the time, unless I'm sleeping to a day of, I couldn't do any of that. I may have allowed podcasts, but I don't remember. I probably just cleaned my room, I get I, like, wh wh what the fuck was I doing then? And as time went on, I would begin meditating more, also learning more about dopamine. Shout out Andrew Huberman podcast, as well as Dopamine Nation, the book, which when you start to learn about it, and if you're a coomer, you kind of realize, oh wow, fapping in pornography is literally a drug. You start to learn how it's bad for your brain, makes you view women and people differently, become less motivated, less masculine. It just sucks. It's so bad. And yet everyone does it. So of course, as my self-improvement journey continued, I began taking no fap more and more seriously. As you start, most likely you're going to relapse. And after I relapse, Lapse, I would try to reflect and be like, what caused this? And of course there's different things. It could be a response to stress, something you saw, you're trying to escape from something, maybe a responsibility. Let me know if this situation sounds similar to you. You're sitting, scrolling Instagram, Twitter, surfing the web, whatever. And all of a sudden the urge just hits you. It's like, yo, look at this, click on this, look at this, zoom in, whatever. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Oh, you're touching this. Oh my gosh. Oh, what, what's going on? Oh, well, oh, this just happened. Oh, what? Damn. How did this happen? And afterwards you almost have a feeling of no control. Like if my brain is just going to play tricks on me all the time, how am I supposed to combat this? And that is when mindfulness can become the best tool for continuing no fap and breaking your addiction. I don't have like charts. I didn't track my meditation back then, but I'm sure there was somewhat of a correlation between days I didn't meditate and days I fapped. What happens in those critical moments, like the one I just described, your dopamine starts to rise, your heart starts to race, and you become bombarded with thoughts convincing you to just do it one more time. And for most people, you associate yourself and your reality with the emotions and thoughts popping into your head. However, meditation teaches you how to take a step back and just view consciousness with your full attention. Complete presence and mindfulness that teaches you that you don't have to identify with every thought or emotion in your head, as well as you learn that it will pass. It's kind of like imagine you're meditating and like a thought pops in, but since you're so open and aware, you have attention on it and it kind of just evaporates. Now, obviously it's not perfect every time I meditate 20 minutes a day and I still occasionally struggle with getting all the thoughts out and being completely open, but already being in a more mindful, more meditative state when those urges arrive gives you such a better chance at combating it. I'm sure there was plenty of times where I was really stressed or really thinking about something and then I relapsed because it was like my guard was down, my brain's too busy dealing with these things to help combat this thing. What's funny is I didn't realize 
realize how much it helped till later in my journey of both meditation and nofap and it just clicked and i was like more people need to know about this of course meditation is amazing in general and i can make a whole video about it but i think a lot of young men right now are still struggling with nofap and porn addiction and maybe becoming more mindful more destimulated more present will help you immensely. If you want an easy to follow 10 minute meditation for mindfulness and focus led by me, there's a link in the description. Also, if you wanna learn more about dopamine, then click the video on the screen right now where I take you through a full day in the life of me doing a dopamine detox.